It is with great pleasure that I'm able to provide you an unboxing of the Farming Simulator 25 Collector's Edition. Now this Collector's Edition was provided by Giants, and I want to thank them for that. So now that we've got the full disclosures done through, let's go ahead and take a look at the Collector's Edition box. I have a can of Coke here, just as a frame of reference as to the size. So we have our front. We have the back. Complete with information about the game. What is included within the Collector's Edition. Let's go ahead and open her up. Immediately upon opening the Collector's Edition, we can see we have the Farming Simulator 25 Giants keychain. A USB-C to USB-A cable. And a set of keys. Let's see what's behind door number one. Ah. The USB ignition lock. Sorry, it's not USB-C, it looks like it's micro USB, mini USB. At the bottom we do have a mounting hole for like a screw-in bracket or something. We have a key, got a indicator light, Giants logo, this is plastic. In addition, we have the Farming Simulator 16-bit edition. It says digital download and CD-ROM, so if you don't have an optical disc, I assume within here, we're going to have a code that we can download the 16-bit edition and have fun playing that. In addition to the 16-bit game, the key lock, the keychain, the keys, and USB cable. We also have brand stickers for various brands that will be in the game. Let's see if we have any stickers for any brands that have yet to be announced. Sorry for the reflection of my ceiling fan. And then in addition to the stickers, we have the Farming Simulator Modding Tutorials version 6.0. We have a code, I'm not going to show you this, but basically we have now a code for the downloading or activating the CR11. So that's there. Of course the DVD version of the game again with digital download so inside of this we will have then a code in order to be able to download the game if we do not have a DVD. And then we have three posters for each of the base maps. And I'm going to go ahead and open up these posters and take a look and see what these PDAs look like. And then on the flip side of the poster, we do have growth schedules. And I'm really curious to see if we're going to have the same growth schedule for each map or if we're going to have unique growth calendars for each map. Here we are with the map for Riverbend Springs, complete with field numbers, icons with respect to cell points, and other various points of interest. Again, I'm sorry for the glare off of the ceiling light. And now the reverse. So here we have the growth calendar or growth schedule for Riverbend Springs, planting and harvest schedules for all of our crops, wheat, barley, canola, oat, corn, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, rice, long grain rice, sugar beet, sugar cane, cotton, sorghum, Grapes, olives, poplar, 
red beets, carrots, parsnips, green beans, peas, spinach, grass, and oilseed radish. And we have the elusive PDA for Hutan Pantai, the new Asia-inspired map for Farming Simulator 25. Again, we have fields listed here, points of interest. Basically, we can see we have the large town there down by the dock. We've seen plenty of clips of that. We have forestry to the north, east, west, and southwest. And then a lot of the fields are there going to be centered to the map. Our various points of interest listed here. And actually, on the flip side, we don't have the growth calendar for this map. We actually have a listing of all the icons in the game. So that's kind of indicating that we're going to have a singular growth calendar for all three maps. So we have crops, greenery and vegetation, products. So we have flour, bread, cheese, buffalo, mozzarella, goat cheese, butter, chocolate, olive oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, grape juice, raisin, cereal, potato chips, spinach, bag snatches hatches rice flour rice boxes rice bags rice rolls sugar cake fabric clothes canned peas soup cans carrot soup parsnip soup red beet soup potato soup noodle soup jarred green beans fermented cabbage preserved food carrots preserved food parsnips and preserved food red beets we also have our animals icons again very sorry for the glare other fill type icons seed stone snow salt diesel and then yield boost so manure slurry oil seed radish lime solid fertilizer liquid fertilizer herbicide silage additive and digestate and then the final poster is going to be for Zilonka. Now Zilonka, of course, was the FS22 premium expansion map that has now been brought forward to Farming Simulator 25. Overall, it's a fairly standard PDA of what we are expecting or what we've used to seeing. But we do have a few other things of interest. Like we saw on the trailer yesterday, we have a BGA now. And we have, well, let's go ahead and check and see. The other productions on the map are... Carpentry, Preserved Food Factory, Sawmill, Cement Factory, Bakery. Then we have Liquid Manure, Manure By Point, Supermarket, Piano Manufacturer, Grain Pool East, Warehouse, Spinnery, Grain Mill, Soup Factory, Farmer's Market, Dairy, Biogas, our Biomass Heating Plant, Potato Processing Plant, Debris Crusher, and then we have our other points of interest like the Farmhouse, Shop, Railroad Station, etc., and then on the back of this poster, we have several screenshots of the various productions and what their inputs and outputs are. So we have our grain mill, or dairy, sugar mill, oil mill, soup factory, spinnery, our paper factory, saw mill, the cement factory, the cooper, or basically our we're going to make barrels and buckets and things. Canning factory, carpentry, grape processor, our rope maker. So we finally learned from the rope maker that we are going to be bringing wool and cotton to make rope. We have our potato processor, our tailor shop, bakery, the BGA, the greenhouses and all of the various crops that we can grow in those greenhouses and then our rice greenhouses so just to wrap it up this is everything you get in the collector's edition for farming simulator 25 you get the base game on dvd plus a digital download code you get the 16-bit version of the game just for a little bit of fun on cd-rom and again a digital download code you get the corresponding usb cable that you need for the usb ignition switch the keys for the switch which do give a nice solid click when you position them we have a metal keychain 
Very nice quality keychain there. We get brand stickers. Of course, we have the download code for the CR11 Gold Edition. And then we have those three posters that we took a look at earlier. Three PDAs. On the back, we have a growth calendar. We have the icons. And then we have a rundown of all the productions and the inputs and outputs on those productions as quick reference. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to the Farming Simulator 25 Collector's Edition. It is not too late to pick it up and have it delivered to your house on launch day or soon thereafter because my Collector's Edition from Amazon has still not yet shipped. So that should probably ship here in the next day or so in order to get here early next week for launch. I do have an affiliate link to Amazon down in the description. If now you've seen what is included in the Collector's Edition, you'd like to go ahead and pick up a copy yourself. Once again, let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Collector's Edition. And until next time, happy farming.